a MagDrives Series 9C Super Gen. And as you can see, we're running at 13 volts. That's the upper scale, not the lower scale. And at 13 volts, we'll go to an independent amp meter. And we're running right now with an independent amp meter on it. We're running approximately, oh, 20, maybe 22 amps. And here's our gas outbound. Right now, you'll be able to see it. There's our gas outbound in a dye-colored jug of water. And we'll go up here to the actual flow meter gauge. We'll zoom in on it. And you'll see we're running in the 4 to, oh, 4 to 6 area with an occasional bounce up to 8 liters. And once in a while it pokes 10. And here's what the Series 9C Super Gen looks like, which is an air-cooled unit, much different than our older units. And here we go with the Series 9C Super Gen right now. As you can see, it's rather involved. As our usual ones, we have a power relay. Over here on this side, we have the controls relay. Here is our water solenoid. We come over here, and here is our water in for our reserve tank, our fill and view port, our HHO gas out, and down here, if you look closely, there's the wire that goes down into the level sensor down below. And as you can see, this has uh, got three plates on it. It has an upper plate, a middle plate, and a bottom plate. And the reason for the middle and the bottom plate is for the fans, which you can see from a side view. And we'll turn around now and we'll go to a front view. And as you can see now, we have actually three fans on that, blowing the unit, keeping it cool. Now we'll turn around and we'll step back a little bit so you can get the whole picture. And of course, here's your blue wire. That goes off to your pump. Here is your red wire. That's the thin red wire. That's what goes to your power switch on the ACC accessory. And here is your heavier red wire right here, which this is what goes over to your fuse from your battery to uh, your fuse block, and then it ties directly into the power side of your power relay. That's the circuit that actually makes the HHO generation turned on by that relay controlled by this thin power switch wire which energizes that relay. And there you have it right there. There is a super gen. Back up and you can get a picture of it. Excuse the mess in my shop, as you can see we're busy. This is a Series 9C Super Gen with air cooling. This replaces the Series 9B and the Series 9. It also does away entirely with the PWM circuit because now you can run this at 18 to 22 amps continuously and it does not overheat or boil and it will give you, as you can see as we zoom in, it'll put you up there in, oh, the 4 to 6 liter mark is where it'll put you, and it's bumping to 10, as you can easily see. And if we go down below here, we can see the outbound hydrogen coming out of it right now. You can see it coming out, and to prove to you that it is hydrogen, we're going to light it off. It is hydrogen. Now we'll go around here and we'll take a look and we'll shoot some temperatures. This unit's been running an hour. Static with just air blowing on it. And here we go. We're going to shoot it. See if we can get in here and I line up the camera. Remember, I'm not a professional cameraman. You can tell. Alright, we'll hold it for a second. And it's showing 102 degrees at the bottom where the air is blowing across it from the three fans. We'll let it clear. And now we'll shoot the upper portion right here. And we'll shoot it. And this doesn't have air blowing on it. And we're at 111 degrees, 112 degrees on the upper half. So there is a definite temperature difference between the bottom and the top. Keep that in mind. We're air cooling this unit. If we cool it down, 
We can use more amps, we don't have an overheating problem, and we can get more HHO. Where we used to run these units, as you look at the amp meter, we used to run the unit with a 4 to 8 amp charge. And then they would run up, after they started, they'd get up around, oh, 12 amps. At 15 amps, they were boiling. Now we're running with the air cool. We charge it the same way, about 8 amps. And then we let it run, and with the air cooling, we're now running 18 to 22 amps. Because the left of the needle is 15, and we're getting close to 20. So we're between 18 and 22 amps. And no longer is it boiling. There's no more condensate or heavy water coming out of the unit. So that'll give you some idea. The more amps you got, a little bit hotter it is. If you can pull the heat off, you eliminate the boiling problem. You get more HHO. Thus, you can take a unit that does two, two and a half liters a minute, and you can actually push that unit all the way up to where that unit will actually run in the four to six area, and of course, peak up there at times at the 10 liters per minute scale. And there you have the unit, and to show you, we're not boiling, we'll focus out a little bit, and there is the outbound tube. So if we were boiling, you would see water blowing through there, and all you see is some mild condensate, which is normal due to atmospheric conditions. And there you have it, the Series 9C Supergen. You can see it right there, and we'll see if we can zoom out. And you can look at it that way, and then you can look at it from the other side over here and see what it looks like. And there you have it. The Mag Drive Series 9C Air-Cooled Supergen. And that's about it. So thank you much for your time. Have a good day. Don't work too hard. Thank you much, and bye-bye.